Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. Well, a lot of brothers been asking me about why we should junior got some news on him. He is staying at 135 pounds lightweight and expected to take on Rancis by Um April 27th is the uh, guesstimated date right now. Let's talk about it. Good fellow sports TV. We in the building. Blessings to all the brothers and sisters out there supporting the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. We'll miss another video. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code goodfellow one boxing Gets you 18% off their all-natural products, lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, hair pomade, the whole nine. Go check out their array of all-natural products. That promo code to get you 18% off and the website is in the description. And um, let's talk about it, man. Robert Jr., Ransom Bartholomew, uh, according to Box Scene, I'll link the article in the description as usual. It says in play for April 27th, and it's at lightweight. Yes, Ransom Bartholomew dropped back down to lightweight already. He got a win over nobody in the third round TKO after losing to Relic. And most people thought in the first Relic fight, he robbed Relic. So he went back down to 135. I think he by, by the way of Cuba. And um, they're going to be fighting for the regular WBA uh, belt. The regular belt. The primary uh, uh, title holder, the super title holder, is Vassal Lomachenko. But just because you hold the regular belt doesn't make you the mandatory, uh, really. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, Bunny not going to be the mandatory for Loma or Rancis unless something, you know, crazy happened and WBA appoint them as a mandatory, which could happen. But, um, you know, it's a good fight. It's a tough fight for Bunny to hop right back into. Uh, Rancis took an L um, to uh, Relic, and Relic is a good fighter at 140. Um, but Bartholomew said they got he got two belts at two different weight classes. And, um... You know, it says that um, the Cuban won belts in two different weight classes and sought to become first of his land to win three titles in three different weight categories. But for now, he made a decision to temporarily move down to 135. Um, so he moving, he already fought at 135. So um, he was going to be the first to do something. And I also got some other news uh, I got to talk about after this, man, and probably another video after that at the end of the night. But uh, I just wait after midnight and drop my other video. But, um, uh, so he trying to, uh, Rancis, uh, Rancis thing got thrown off for his, his little, his journey got thrown off for one to be a three time, three time title holder in three different, uh, weight classes because the relic beat him up. But most people thought relic beat him in the first fight, but, um, you know, it's a good fight, man. I ain't gonna complain about it, man. Um, I like Rancis by Thomas for real, um, real rangy, different type of dude. I got some funny looking hair. You know, but that don't stop me from um from rooting for him, man. But you already know it's always Midwest Midwest uh love, and I I love me some Robert Jr. Man, um, it's one of my favorite fighters personality wise. And I do think he needs to um you know fix some things. You know, as far as technically, I think he should get with a with a more experienced coach. But that's just my opinion. But you no, know, both of these dudes is long and rangy. Bartholomew is 5'10", okay, 72 and a half inch reach, you know, Robbie Jr. is right around that too, man, and, you know, I don't know how custom is Bunny into, is, is to fighting guys that are as tall as him, he's 5'11", so he only have a half inch reach advantage, and he has a four in, half inch height advantage, half inch height advantage, excuse me, and then he got a four, almost a four inch reach advantage, so this is going to be the battle of ranges, um, Tough fight to jump back in, in my opinion, after taking the L to Mikey Garcia. Real, real tough fight, man. But you know what? Robert Jr. can get it done. You know what I'm saying? I'm rooting for him. Um, Rancis is a real loopy guy. Uh, and me, To me, he don't punch that hard, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Um, Y'all don't look at him as a puncher, but he got 14 knockouts out of 28 fights. But, you know, it's going to be it's going to be tough. Them Cubans do got some flavors. They got some styles. Um, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how 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 they both deal with each other. But um, I like to see E-Bunny take Floyd Mayweather up on his offer to teach him, you know, uh, to teach him how to use his height and his reach and his jab. Um, obviously, I'm not a fan of him and Kevin Cunningham at all. 
Um, you know, his dad working this corner is cool, but I, I really think, in my personal opinion, that he should get with somebody that can show him how to really, you know, you know, sit on that, use that jab aggressively. Man, I was listening to Eric Kelly say how he should be using the jab and how Mikey shouldn't even be able to touch him. He right. You know, he should be using that jab aggressively, you know, coming straight down the pipe and being aggressive with it like Tommy did. But Emmanuel Stewart would have had love to work with Robert Richard Jr. All the tools he got, he got height, speed, coordination, the reach. I mean, he would be the perfect the perfect guy to fight with him to really coach uh, Robert Richard Jr., man. And Robert Richard Jr. really should make easy work of Francis Bartholomew, but I'm not sure because his corner not together. He not really technically or fundamentally or technically sound like he should be with that height and that reach. He should be he should be really unbeatable at 135 with the class of opponents that he got there, man. Shouldn't no 135-pounder even be able to touch E-Bunny if he knew how to really sit, step into that jab and control distance? See, it's one thing with dudes think you, you're a big guy. You're supposed to just really go side to side, front to back, and fight on the back foot with that jab. But Tommy was, was aggressive, you know what I'm saying? Tommy was aggressive. Lennox was aggressive under Emmanuel. They really sit there and really punch through the target with that jab and really and really make you respect it, you know what I'm saying? And Robert Jr., man, he, he abandoned the jab, but he got all the tools to physically to be an all-time great. He just don't have the, 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 the game from the coaches, man. You can tell a lot is lacking. You know, he should be able to have, be able to turn – over a lead left a lead left hook out of that jab, and he should be trouble. He should be walking dudes not only th with the jab and with the hook. He should be really walking them dudes into a straight right hand. You know what I'm saying? And then if he was able to develop a straight right hand to the body and, and, and a looping right hand as well, just for a good measure. But all he really would need is the jab, hook, the right hand to the body, and the straight right behind it. Man, he'd be deadly. You know what I'm saying? He'd be putting dudes to sleep. But that's the wild card. You know, Rancis Bartholomew might be favored by a few people out there, especially at this weight class, man. This is a dangerous fight. A real, real dangerous fight, man. This ain't no fight to play with for, for Robert Jr. This can be career defined, and this either can elevate his career back to, to, to star status or almost to star status. Or, you know, this can really, you know, make people say, man, you know, he a journeyman right now. He damn near a journeyman or it's over with. So for him, you know what I'm saying? You know, I would be seeking out the best advice I could. And I know it's hard cutting ties with family and cutting ties to Stafford and, and everybody who brought you this far. But at this point, this is DEFCON 25,000, dude. This is like, you know, making millions or going back to making 50, 60,000, 100,000 right now. You know, and I'll be seeking out the best advice, you know. And, that, and if that was my son, you know, in my opinion, not to speak for his pops and I respect that relationship, I would want to do what's best for him. I would step aside and just be an assistant. And, and maybe, you know, Buddy McGarth might be a bit good coach for him. You know what I'm saying? What he done with Kovalev and made Kovalev patient and, and touching the opponents and changing the speed. And Kovalev had a lot of things that uh, Easter don't have. He had a good, really good jab. He got a really good one, too. You know, but other than that, he showed him how to really use his jab and, you know, kind of be aggressive but not over-utilize yourself and utilize all your stamina. I think Buddy McGurf would be really, really good for Robert Jr., man. And, and if the Pops would just step out the way and let Buddy McGurf work his magic, I think that would be the perfect dude for him. But real talk, Bryson Bartholomew is probably going to be favored by a lot of people who know boxing in this situation, man, because E-Bunny just don't use his tools, his physical tools like he should. And, you know, that there lies the problem. Do he, as he might be faster than Rancis? Yeah. He might be more powerful than Rancis? Yeah. But he don't utilize some tools where it's going to be to his advantage. And he needs somebody that can show him that. And I understand loyalty is everything. But when that cash is on the line, your ass is on the line, you got to go do what you got to do and get somebody that can show you how to use those skills. And, and if Floyd Mayweather offered to show you how to use those skills, you know, I would go roll with him. You know what I'm saying? And show him how to really use that height and really. Be aggressive with that stick. If not, I like Buddy McGurk for him, man. Real talk. That's a really good brother to really fight with. Charlo Twins, too, man, with uh Ronnie Ronnie Shield. Shields, man. But hey, that's just my personal opinion. Glad to see E Bunny back. He ain't taking no uh you know to no soft touches, man. He coming back with a bang for the regular WA belt. Salute to him. I'm gonna drop one more video about another Cuban right behind this, man. Maybe some interesting news, man. I may maybe a little bit too late, but Good fellow sports TV. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze at the Hellblaze.com. 
Promo code Goodfellow One Box to get you 18% off their all natural products, lotion soaps, foot soaps, bath bombs, and much, much more. Head over to the hellblaze.com. Don't forget that promo code Goodfellow One Box to get you 18% off. Website promo code in the description so you ain't got to go rewind and stuff. But appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget me on social media, all those links in the description. Or you can email me if you got business questions, inquiry. Definitely appreciate everybody for.